We're at the world's largest instant ramen shop. This is crazy. Look how many flavors there are. Let's have a look around. Let's get some noodles, even the really spicy ones, and let's do a taste test. My mouth is burning. First things first, let's go get a basket. We've only just walked in and there's already so many different flavors. What's really cool is they've split all the noodles into different sections. So here is the halal area and I saw a vegetarian area over there as well. What a good idea. Oh, cabanara bacon. I've never seen cabanara noodles before. That actually looks pretty good. I think it's just the cheese that's really getting me. Look at the wall of noodles. That is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. It makes me so hungry looking at it. It really looks so tasty. How many different kinds of noodles are here right now? I totally see how this is the biggest instant noodle shop in the entire world. Just look at that. There must be hundreds of flavors. There's so many, it's gonna be hard to choose. They've even got these cute signs so you can totally take advantage of this cute Instagram spot. Ah, oh, that's so cool. They've got Indomie. This was like a staple of my teenage years. Like every day after school, I used to come home and eat some Indomie. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, you absolutely need to. I'm kind of tempted by it right now, but I'm gonna branch out and see what else I can find. Whoa, this looks pretty intense. Ghost pepper cheese. It's got little flames and a ghost on it, so must be pretty intense. What I really love about it here is I've done a little chili scale so you can see how spicy stuff is. This one is a four out of five chilies. I don't think this is the one. I'll keep looking around. Ooh, this one's a five out of five chilies. Would you try it? I don't know if I'd even have taste buds left. <laughs> that sounds so intense. We're in the vegetarian section and I'm gonna start with something really simple and I'm gonna mix it up with the kind of salad bar they have here. So I'm gonna start off with this vegetable flavored noodles. It looks like it's got some mushrooms in it and some carrots. It looks really good. And I think it will go really nicely with like an egg and maybe some cheese as well. So yeah, let's try it. I think we've just found most of the Korean noodles. There are loads of Korean flags around here. And you know what that means? Spicy. Like literally all the packets here are red. You know it's super spicy. I can see loads of the chili ratings are around four or five chilies. I'm not sure whether I can handle that or not. I wanna try something spicy. Let's look and see what the flavors are. They all look really good. Okay, we've got another five chili rating. And I really wanted to show you the packaging. Look. They're angry. Like these, <laughs> these noodles are literally angry at you. They've got flames in the eyes and lines through the flames. Like these must be so intense. I don't know if I could handle that. Angry noodles. Ah, okay. I found some really, really spicy noodles. I'm gonna try these. They're literally called super spicy. They've rated five out of five chilies. I think this is gonna be pretty intense. Make sure you stick around to see me try them. It's kind of hard to decide what to eat. I'm not exaggerating. There are hundreds of flavors here and everything looks pretty good. I've literally found a flavor of noodles called volcano chicken noodle. The packaging looks pretty intense. The chicken on the front is literally saying, that's crazy hot. So I think that one's pretty spicy. It's also got like a volcano with a chili blasting out the top of it. This one looks interesting. It's got apple sauce in it. I can't really imagine how that will taste in noodles, but I'm gonna give it a try. It sounds like it could be kind of good, right? It looks like there's a bit of a dedicated cheese ramen section here. I've never had cheese with ramen before, but it seems like it would be pretty good. I also noticed some fresh mozzarella over in the fridge. So I think I'm gonna get some of that and add it to my noodles. For my last one, I'm gonna try this. It's called a cheese tapoki. It says it's got special cheese sauce with rice cake. I've never tried anything like this before. I think it looks a little bit like pasta and it sounds pretty good. It's meant to be a wee bit spicy as well. So we'll go see what it tastes like. Okay, we've done step one. We've got all our noodles. Now it's time to head on over to step two and we'll get some fresh ingredients. So I'm gonna put some gloves on now and we'll choose some fresh ingredients for our noodles. There are so many different fresh things to choose from here. There's eggs, fresh vegetables, mozzarella cheese, and loads of different seafood. You can really customize your noodles. It's really cool. I'm really excited. They do onsen eggs here. They're like a little bit like a poached egg and I think they'll go really, really well in the noodles. And I'm gonna finish up and get a bunch of mozzarella cheese. We're gonna pick up some drinks as well because some of these noodles are gonna be really spicy. So I got a sparkling peach drink, a water, and a milk tea, just in case things get a little bit too spicy for me. Okay, that's step two all done. Now it's time to go over to step three, pay for this, and then we can cook it all up. So the last step is to cook the food. It's really cool. They give you these kind of plastic containers which you can put on the hot plates. I'm really excited to try it. It all seems really yummy. 
So I've put the noodles in the container. Now I'm gonna scan the barcode. I've just put the cheese in and it's almost finished cooking. Okay, so first up, I'm trying the veggie noodles. I added some mozzarella and an egg to this and it's got the dehydrated veggies in there as well. I'm gonna mix it all up and then I'm gonna try it. It's so cheesy. Oh, it's really hot. There's so much steam coming off it right now. Oh, oh it's such a nice combo. There's so much cheese. It's not spicy at all. It just has a really nice noodle taste, like it's a little bit salty, and the cheese tastes great. This one's really good. And the noodles will cook perfectly as well, like they're so soft. This is really tasty. I'm just gonna get all the stuff ready now so we're all ready to cook. I'm gonna put all the spicy sauce on my noodles now. It looks really hot. I've got the spicy ones all ready to cook. Now it's time to get this apple one all prepared. I'm still really curious about what this is gonna taste like. So I think this is apple sauce. It's really squishy. We're not meant to put it into the noodles until after it's all cooked. So I'm gonna add some different veggies to that one now. Okay, so I'm gonna try the noodles that have the apple sauce and I've mixed in loads and loads of veggies as well. It's not as sweet as I was expecting. Oh, it's actually a little bit spicy. What I really love about this place is how well the noodles are cooked. They're so soft. They're better than any instant noodles I've ever cooked at home. Mm. So now I'm gonna try the cheese tapoki. I'm gonna pick one up with my chopstick. Ah, it's really hard to pick up. Mm. Oh, there we go. Little bit spicy. Mm. It's okay. I think I prefer the noodles actually. It's okay, but the noodles are the real winner. So now I'm gonna try the super spicy noodles. I'm actually really nervous about this. I mixed in a lot of cheese just to try and ease down the spiciness. I've also got my milk tea ready in case my tongue really needs it, which it probably will. I can smell the spice radiating off these noodles. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's really spicy. Oh. At first, I didn't think it was that bad, but oh, it's really growing. That is so hot. My lips are tingling. My nose is starting to run. And I'm like on the verge of getting hiccups. That's really, really spicy. That was way better with more cheese. It's still oh, really spicy. It just keeps growing the spiciness, but oh my gosh, my lips are tingling so much. Why am I having this burning? I don't know if my lips are swelling or, am I lips swelling or red? No. I really feel it. I'm on fire right now. The milk tea hasn't helped it off. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's so hot. I got too cocky and was all like, yeah, I'm, I can eat the chili, I can handle level five, but I'm on fire right now. The milk tea hasn't helped it off. Oh,